fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We've got to meet Tonto at Tomahawk Basin. I will still Lone Ranger and Tonto, seeking to get real proof that Benjamin Steele, king of the cattle country, is actually a criminal worse than any outlaw, were up against a tough foe. The vast Tomahawk Basin was the center of Steele's activities, and the masked man and Tonto made their camp on the rim of the Great Basin. One morning, as they stood by the campfire, there came a faint whisper of sound from the surrounding woods. Then, a knife whistled through the air. Kimasabi, somebody throw a knife. Steady, Tonto. The knife was meant to miss. Just a warning. Step out into the clearing. I've got you covered. <laughs> right into the clearing or I'll shoot. All right, come on, get up there. Get up. I'll give you credit, mask man. You don't scare his aim. Kimasabi, horsewear tomahawk brand. Yeah, I reckon you don't know who I am. Tomahawk, brand of Benjamin Steel Ranch. You work for him. I don't think this man worked for Steel, Tonto. You've never met me, masked man. But I don't mind telling you who I am. I know who you are. Oh, you do, eh? I can guess. Your name is Benjamin Steel. Huh? <laughs> Mister, what they say about you is sure a fact. You're the coolest hombre I ever met, outside of uh, myself. Yep, I'm Steel. Steel. You're a member of the Black Arrow. I was a member of the Black Arrow, but the Black Arrow's gone. You smashed it. Just as you'll be smashed someday. <laughs> well, you're holding a six-shooter on me. Why don't you take me to jail? I'm not a fool. What the matter, Kimasabi? You got prisoner, we take him to jail, get him to sheriff. We do, he'll be free inside of an hour. Sure, because you gotta have proof to put a man behind bars, isn't it? And there's nothing on earth to prove that I've been a member of the Black Arrow. Just as there's nothing on earth to prove I don't run things fair and square and according to the law. Steal this gun is aimed at your heart. I pull the trigger, there would be no need of a judge or a jury. No need for jail. You know, mister. <laughs> but you won't pull the trigger. No? You won't pull the trigger because you're the Lone Ranger. A Lone Ranger believes in law and order. You do everything according to what's honest. That's why I came here bold as brass. I knew you wouldn't shoot. All right, Steele. Get to the point. Mister, the point is as sharp as that knife sticking in the tree. Clear out. You own the engine both. Clear out. Because you say so? I run things in Tomahawk Basin. If you try to stop me, you'll end up six feet underground in your grave. Tom and I are staying here until you land in jail, Steele. So it's that way, huh? War, is it? Call it anything you like, but you'll end up in jail. What can you do against me? <laughs> A masked man in an engine. You're stubborn, that's what. 
So be it, then. It's your funeral. I hope you give me a good fight, because I like fights, Savvy. I like them and always win them. The Tomahawk Basin belongs to me. I don't have the cattle roam the grasslands. Soon I'll own all of them. I'll use any methods I like, and nobody's going to stop me. Those that have nerve enough to stand up against me will die. And that goes for you, mister. Steele, clear out before I change my mind. <laughs> I hope you live to regret that. Adios. Get it there. Uh, him plenty bad. He's clever, Tonto. He knows we haven't a shred of proof against him. That's why he could meet us face to face. Him got plenty men and plenty guns. We stay in Tomahawk Basin. Maybe any time we ride into ambush, get shot. We've got a job to do, Tonto, and nothing will stop us. We're riding into the basin. Young is the water hole, Father. Shall we water the horses before we go on to the ranch house? Yeah, Abby. It's a mighty dry ride from Leadville. Say, uh, who's that? Well, it, it looks like Ted Bailey. <laughs> a girl in love sure has sharp eyes. Father. <laughs> Don't deny it, Abby. You're blushing clean up your ears. Ted Bailey's a nice young fellow. I wouldn't mind having him for a son-in-law. Well, he, he hasn't even asked me yet. <laughs> sure, sure. Now, don't tell him I said so. Whoa, whoa there, boy. Whoa, whoa. Well, howdy, Miss Abby. It's nice to see you. I'm here, too, Bailey. Oh. <laughs> Why, of course, Mr. Carey. Uh, howdy to you, too. You didn't think I overlooked you. I wasn't sure, son. Been waiting long? Waiting? Well, I haven't been waiting. Oh, just a coincidence, huh? Uh, yeah. Then how come your horse has trampled down the ground so much? Well, uh, yeah, but what, <laughs> well, that is... I... Now, Father, you stop that. Ted Bailey wanted to wait around to pass the time of day with us. There's no call for you to think it's funny. Well, uh, <clears throat> I reckon you must be right thirsty, Miss Abby. Let me help you off the wagon. <laughs> it's mighty nice seeing you again. It's been quite a while. Well, I ride herd for Mr. Steele. I had to make a trip to Chisholm. Oh, the water's nice and clear, isn't it? Yeah, haven't watered my horse yet. I didn't want him to muddy up the water before you came. Here you are. Take a sip. Don't drink that water. Hey, what in thunder? Ted, it's the mask man. Stand back. Let me get my gun. Put out him, got gun. You shot the gun right out of your hand. Here, here. What's the meaning of this? Bailey, are you hurt? No, no, Mr. Carey. He isn't hurt. My bullet hit the gun. You're an outlaw. Is, is this a hole? Well, what else could it be, Miss Abby? These hombres riding in spur for leather. And besides, my boss, Mr. Steele, warned all us riders it was an outlaw room in the basin. An outlaw riding a white horse and wearing a mask, an engine part with him. We not outlaw. Mr. Steele's my boss. I work for him and I believe what he tells me. If you'd taken a drink of that water, you wouldn't be working for Steele much longer. The water's poisoned. What? What's that? The water's poisoned. That's why I fired those shots as a warning. I don't believe it. You were up on the ridge. How could you tell if the water was poisoned? Yeah, did you taste it? I don't have to taste it. Look across the water hole. Huh? Get it, Tonto. Uh, get him up, Scout. Why, he's holding up a jackrabbit. Yeah. Here, Kim Stubby. Thanks, Tonto. And this jackrabbit was lying on the far side of the water hole. Take a look at it, Carrie. Gee, Hussafat, mister, you're right. It was drinking from this water hole and now it's dead. Bailey, would you know anything about this? Me? How come you didn't drink before we arrived? How come you... Are you saying I poison the water? It looks mighty suspicious. Father. Keep out of this, Abby. Jerry, if you wasn't Miss Abby's father... Don't hide behind a woman's skirts, Bailey. I asked you what you... That does it. I got another gun. Draw. Stop that. Keep your hands away from that holster. Let him draw, mister. Then I'll enough. put a... That's enough, Kerry. Bailey, get on your horse and travel. If you ask me, masked man, I'd say it was you poisoned this water. I said get on your horse. There's only one of you here I give a hang about. I'm leaving for her sake. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Abby. Get up there. Father, you shouldn't have said that. Ted Bailey couldn't have poisoned the water. He couldn't. Somebody did, Abby. Now we're licked for certain. There's nothing left for me to do but to sell our ranch. I'll have to accept Steele's offer. What's that? Steele. Benjamin Steele, owner of the Tomahawk Ranch. He's made me an offer. You're not going to sell? Sure I am. Lock, stock, and barrel. What else can I do? This is the only water in my range. I can't let my cattle die of thirst. Carrie, have you thought that Steele himself might have poisoned this water? What? Why should he do that? To get your cattle? Oh, that's ridiculous. Benjamin Steele's the biggest man in this valley. He wouldn't do a thing like that. You ask me, I think Ted was right. I think you poisoned the water. No, that's not true. You're outlaws. 
I don't know why you should do it and then warn us away, but I just... We not poison water. Well, that's we enough, friends. that's enough, Tonto. There's no way to settle the argument now. It gets us no place. I don't know what to think. I'm all mixed up. Carrie, will you wait a little while before making up your mind to sell out? I... I can't wait long. Tonto and I saved your lives just now. We're asking you not to sell. Mister, I'll think it over. That's all I can say. Good. You may hear from us later. Adios. Get him up, scout. Adios. Come on, Silver. Come on, Abby. Back to the wagon. We got a dry ride to the ranch house. Father, those men are outlaws. Ted Bailey says Mr. Steele warned all his men about them. I don't know, Abby. Mr. Steele's a mighty big man, but, well, somehow that masked gent, he, he didn't sound like an outlaw. I don't care what he sounded like. He must be an outlaw. Oh, Race right straight back here to the ranch house, Mr. Steele. And if I'd been able to, I'd have shot that masked hombre like you said. He's an outlaw, all right. No honest man would be so fast on the draw. Kino Billy, I'm glad you told me. So Kerry's water hole was poisoned, eh? Well, him and me had a couple of words. Yeah. I thought you and uh, Kerry were pretty friendly. Well, I'm sorry about it now. He accused me of poisoning the water. No. Of course, now that I'm calmed down, I'm going to forget about it. Poor Kerry's had so much tough luck lately, he's all on edge. Yes, a poor fella. I hope he takes my offer. At least he'll give him some cash to settle on a new place. I, re I reckon I'd better go now, huh, Mr. Steele? Yes, Bailey. Uh, head back and ride the line on that south herd. You better stop in the kitchen and have some grub, seeing as you miss dinner. Well, oh, thanks, Mr. Steele. Gosh, you're a straight hombre to work for. Adios. Adios, Bailey. Straight hombre to work for. <laughs> That Bailey kid's still wet behind the ears. I sure got him fooled. <laughs> you got everybody fooled, Senor Steele. Uh, howdy, Breed. You been here all this time? Yes, yeah, Senor. I stay in corner very quiet. You heard what Bailey said? The mass man, he make trouble already, yes. Breed, if him and the engine had warned in, that owned Kerry's ranch. Huh? Sure. Kerry and his daughter would be dead from that water. Well, that is true, yes. They'd be dead. There were no living relatives. They could have taken a place like that. Well, the Bailey, he would be dead, too. What of it? That ignorant cow puncher wouldn't be any loss to me. It's easy to get his loco weed. I want you more careful, Breed. If the masked man hadn't seen that dead rabbit, they'd have taken that water. Senor, I put the poison in the water hole. I do not stay around to watch. I have a most pronto. <laughs> well, never mind. You go somewhere, senor. Settle my horse, Breed. I'm riding over to see Carrie. I'm going to pay cash and get his ranch right now. Hey, uh, Kerry. It's a bag full of cash. Two thousand silver dollars. Just sign this bill of sale. I'll get you a ranch and the cash is yours. Well, I sort of promised the mass man. Mass man? I... You've been cactus that hombre's an outlaw. I'm doing your neighborly turn offering to buy your place. I got a good mind to take back my offer. Father, Mr. Steele is right. Sign the bill of sale. You know, if I could only locate the skunk who's poisoned my water hole and burnt my winter hay. I, I reckon I'm wasting my time. Give me my cash and audio to you, Carrie. Father. No. No, wait, Mr. Steele. Kino, I I'll sign. Hey. I knew you'd have sense, Carrie. Now, there's a pen dipped right in the ink well. Just... What the... the mask man. That bullet smashed the inkwell. There's ink all over the bill of sale. Gary isn't signing, Steele. Clear out. Carrie, are you going to let this ornery outlaw talk you into losing a sale? You heard me, Steele. Clear out and take your money with you. And don't come back. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Faced with the two six guns and the steady hands of the Lone Ranger, Steele rode away from Carrie's ranch in a fuming rage, leaving the masked man and Tonto. Carrie, I thought you promised me you'd think it over. In another minute, Steele would have had your ranch. Mister, you and the engine, get out of here. Carrie, you mustn't say. Mustn't? Right now, I probably lost my one chance. Steele won't make that offer again. Not after this. And there must be some other way. There's no other way. Ben Steele was big-hearted enough to make me an offer. Don't be a fool, Yeah, Carrie. I was a fool. I was a fool in the first place to listen to you. But, well, you stopped us from drinking that water, so I listened. We're not listening anymore. Right, Abby. We're quits now, mass man. I won't start any gunplay because of what you did at the water hole. And also because you're inside my house. But now I'm telling you in no uncertain terms. Get out and stay out. And the next time I see you, be ready to shoot. Let's go, Tonto. Steady, big fella. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. What we do now, Kimasabi? Gary doesn't know what he's getting into, Tonto. Steel is as crafty and dangerous as a rattlesnake. Ah, uh, him worse than rattlesnake. Rattler, give warning before him strike. We're going to keep on the alert every minute, uh, day and night. That's right. We may not corner Steele, but at least we can try and save Kerry. Him mad like crazy buffalo. And we'll help him in spite of himself. Steel him plenty smart hombre. Come to wonder what him do next. <laughs> Oh, there. Oh, oh, boy. Reed. Reed, where are you? I'm here, senor. You get the land from Cali. Uh, it doesn't look like it. No, senor. That is the money you bring back, eh? What happened? The Lone Ranger, that's what happened. Oh. Carey was all set to sign. Had the pen in his hand. Then the Ranger bus in. Senor, while you were away, I think of another way to get cattle from Cali. What's that? I have a plan, senor. It will be easy to work, I think. There is a white horse in the corral. A horse that looks something like silver. What do you mean, that breed? I tell you. But first, I ask you a question. Well? If I get in trouble, senor, it, uh, it may be bad for you, yes? What do you mean? To the rest of the people in Tomahawk Basin, you are a very honest man. <laughs> Only me know you have done many crimes, yes? Go on. It would be to your best interest to, uh, to protect me, eh? If I should go to jail, perhaps... You I... won't... But if I should... Reed, I'll tell you right here now, you won't go to jail. But if you ever did, you can count on me to get you out. I hope so, senor. I'll have to get you out. If you talked, you'd put a rope around my neck. See, si. <laughs> I make sure you understand that is all. Well, let's have it. What's your scheme? You are a good neighbor, senor Steer. You have a water hole not far from senor Carrie's ranch, yes? That water's mine. It's not open water. So? Then perhaps you will open it, yes? <laughs> Senor, for this scheme, I use the white horse. I race like the Lone Ranger. And to take the message to Senor Carey, we can use Ted Bailey. You listen now, I tell you. I got word the boss wanted me. Is he around, Breed? Hey, take a little walk for a moment, Ted. Oh. But I tell you what you are to do. I am foreman for Senor Steve. Sure thing, Breed. The boss, he offered to buy carry out. Say, that's right nice of him. Mr. Carey must have been mighty pleased. Well, this sale was not completed, Bailey. That masked outlaw, he stopped it. No. What well, doggone that gent's hide. I tell you, Breed... Well, Senor Steele is a very generous man. He's going to let carry water his herd at the Cottonwood water hole. After what happened? See... You are a good friend to Mr. Carey. Well, him and me had a few ah, words. It does not matter. You are still friends. <laughs> Tomorrow you're right. Tell Senor Carey he can water cattle at the Cottonwood. You do that, yes? Yes, sir. I sure will. I'll get there around noon tomorrow. Now you eat that dinner, Father. I didn't cook it just to look at. Abby, I can't help feeling that... Howdy. I've been riding all morning. Got some chow for a hungry man? Ted, Ted Bailey. What a tarnation. You young water snapper. Oh, oh, there. Hold on, Mr. Carey. My holsters are empty. You left my guns out with a horse. And besides, I'm the bearer of good news. Yeah? Yes, sir. Now wipe that gloom off your face. Uh, first off, I'm apologizing for getting riled the other day. And second and most important, 
Ben Steele sent me to tell you that you can drive your cattle to the Cottonwood water hole and let them drink their fill. The Cottonwood? But that belongs to Mr. Steele. I haven't any money to pay him the watering fee. It won't cost you one red cent. What's that? Not one red cent. Mr. Steele says there's no sense letting good cattle die while you and him are fixing to make a sale anyways. Say, that is good news. Uh, I don't have to get back to my job to the day after tomorrow, Mr. Carey. If you want me, I'll be glad to give you a hand getting the cattle to the water hole. Gee. Youngster, draw up a chair and sit down. Abby, dish up some more of that grub. <laughs> I could eat a wolf. A hiding hoofs in there. You're getting good food, Ted Bailey. <laughs> Pile the plates high, Abby. I got my appetite back. Yep, Bailey, we'll round up the cows this afternoon. Start moving them right out. I reckon we ought to get to Cottonwood Waterhole a mite before sundown tomorrow. What are you doing? I've just now come from the water hole, senor. I lowered the heavy sack with the poison into the water. In an hour, all the water will be poisoned. What about Kerry? I saw his herd of cattle from the top of the hill. Another three hours and they will drink. Good. You better get back there in time to put on your act. Si, senor. As they approach the water hole, they will catch sight of a mass man riding away at full gallop. Only it will not be the Lone Ranger, eh? <laughs> it will be someone else. <laughs> water! There's a water hole up ahead. Listen to the steers. They can smell it. Don't let them go too fast. They've been thirsty so long, I'll drink too much. Keep them in control. Yes, sir. Yippee, you long horns. You're going to drink your fill. Nice, fresh, sweet water coming mighty soon. Get along, there. Move along. We'll hurt them tandem. I'll ride point up front. Good boy. Ted. Yeah, Miss Abby? Thanks for all you've done. Oh, shucks, Miss Abby. This was Mr. Steele's doing. Oh, thanks, anyway. Uh, you reckon your pa's going to sell to Mr. Steele? Of course he will. With all the bad luck we've been having and Ben Steele being so friendly, naturally we'll sell. Oh, too bad the water on your ranch has been poisoned. Usually takes a month for the poison to disappear. You couldn't wait that long. Well, you could now if you keep on using this water And not pay for it? No, Ted, we can't take any more advantage of Ben Steele. Father will sell. It's the least we can do and stay honorable. Yeah, I reckon so. I guess that means you'll leave Tomahawk Basin, doesn't it? There's no more land to settle here. <laughs> I'd sure hate to see you leave. You would? Well, I... Miss Abby, I haven't asked your father yet, but... Abby, will you marry me? Will you? Ted. Oh, I know I'm just a plain cow puncher and I shouldn't even ask. I think but... my father will say it's all right. What's that? Uh, and so will I. Abby, you mean you'll marry me? This... <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Dad. Oh, oh gosh. Gosh, Abby. I... Baby. Oh, uh, I don't know what this... Uh, well, what's that, Mr. Carey? Look up ahead. Huh? Doggone it, Bailey. Stop looking so calf-eyed. Look there, galloping away from the water hole. That's a white horse. Father, isn't, isn't that the masked man? Did you hear that? It sure is him. I don't know, Father. That horse doesn't look as big somehow. Those words he shouted, they, they don't Say, sound Say, there's the something mighty peculiar going on. What was that hombre doing at the water uh, hole? I don't know. Maybe he was waiting in ambush for me. Then when he saw there was two of us, he changed his mind. Uh, still, there's no use figuring. These here cows are thirsty. Let's get that water. Get up there. Get up. Oh, wait a minute. Father. Your horse, it's a masked man again in the engine. No reach for your guns. We've been waiting for you. Doggone if I savvy this. Why, we just saw you riding north over the ridge. And now you suddenly come busting in from the west. That man was an imposter. What? You mean... I that... mean he's riding a white horse and wearing a mask to fool you. Now what in blazes would he do that for? Because he poisoned that water hole and he wanted to put the blame on me. Poison... What's that you say? Keep your cattle away from that water till I get back. Where are you going? I'm catching that man. Tonto, stay here and make sure they don't move. Um, you watch your... Come on, Silver. That crazy fellow. Well, I'll be dogged. This here's more confusing than chasing a jackrabbit through a bramble. I can't keep those cattle from water. You do what mask friends say. Tonto, make sure of that. Father, Ted, I believe that first man was an imposter. Well, how are we going to tell, Abby? He's got too big a lead for this one to ever catch up with him. That's just where you're wrong. Look. Look at that white stallion race over the ground. Why, he's twice as fast as that other horse. Look. Why, say, so he is. Maybe he will catch that hombre after all. Say, Injun, who is that partner of yours anyway? <laughs> we fixed long answer to good, eh, horse? <laughs> but this one got his heart that day. You think mask man do it? <laughs> Breed's horse had crossed the ridge. He right. rode at an easy gallop with the poisoner sitting easy in the saddle. Reed had no fear of pursuit until suddenly... Come on, Silver! Catch him, boy! Uh, what is this? Caramba! Reed straightened, uh, turned and looked over his shoulder. Over the ridge behind him flashed a great white stallion. The Lone Ranger! Get up! Get up! In sudden panic, Reed clapped spurs to his mount, flattened out in the saddle as his horse lengthened his stride. But it was no use. Closer and closer pounded Silver's great strides. Closer and closer. No use! Stop or I'll make you stop! You'll never catch me alive! Keep your hands off that holster! Don't 
a six-gun drop from Breed's nerveless fingers. Then a rope snakes through the air, whipped tight around his body. Who are you struggling? You haven't got a chance. You're going back, understand? Old Silver, whoa, whoa, boy. You got him. You brought him back. Why, it's Breed. Here's a man who tried to poison this water hole, Carrie, just as he poisoned yours. You can't prove nothing. That is a lie. You cannot prove I do such a thing. No? Very well, then. Suppose you take a drink from that water hole. Huh? Otto, pull him off his horse. Make him drink. Ah, no, no, wait, no. The water is poisoned. If I drink, I die. I... What I say? You come. Never drink. mind, Ichin. He said enough already. He admitted his guilt. Dad, you reckon we can turn this ordinary coyote over to the sheriff? Oh, we sure can, Mr. Carey. Here's some more evidence for you, Carey. This bag is full of poison. It's at the bottom of the water hole. Well, I got it. Who else helped you do this awful thing, Breed? Take me to jail. I, I say no more. Not one word. All right, Carey. You can water your cattle now. Go ahead. Water my cattle? Yes. The water hole on your ranch will be clear again in a few days. Your cattle won't suffer anymore. But, but, mister, what do you mean? Breed poisoned the water. He was afraid to drink it himself. Hunt and I were watching him several hours ago. He put the sack in the water hole and then left. Before he came back, we took the sack out. That water was fit to drink all the time. But Breed didn't know it. That's how he convicted himself. Well, if that don't beat everything. Um, bad man make heap big mistake. Come, Tonto. Our work here is done. Breed... I reckon you more than met your match this time. Me and Ted are going to take you to the jailhouse just as soon as we get the cattle watered. And thanks to this match, man, you'll... Say, he's gone. Him and the engine lit out already. Yes, Father. There they go. He didn't wait for thanks. But we'll be eternally grateful, whoever he is. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>